Hello and good morning y'all and welcome back to Tower Unite. Now I don't really know what I'm going to be doing this video honestly and to be honest with you this is my second take at recording this one. So we're just going to kind of chill out. You know I'm going to show a quick workshop condo. It's really nothing crazy special. Uh, then we're probably going to hop in the plaza or check and see like what game worlds have people in it. But the player count's pretty low this morning. It's like 10 in the morning as I record so there's really not many players to match up with at the moment. But uh, we're going to check out this uh, this mountain climbing condo, which is actually pretty good. My first take of this video, I actually checked out this one called Red Squirrel's uh, Collection of Things. And it's just a couple of items bunched up in a condo. And this one called Whirl Eyes, which is why I had to start recording again. Which is literally one room, but then I like went into uh, no clip and broke out of the boundaries. And uh, I found some porn. So I was like, okay, I don't really feel like editing this video or censoring. So let's just redo this. And that's where we're at. Uh, but yeah. That's my story for today, but uh, we are on this mountain climbing condo. It's actually incredibly easy. Hello there, buddy. Wouldn't it be funny if one of my messages was breaking the fourth wall while having a conversation? That'd be pretty funny. Good luck, pal. Bye. See, I've already done this. Uh, we got a little fox and arrows out of dog. I'm too lazy to go double check. But uh, yeah, this is just basically just stair jumps. In the tower, like, stair jumps are kind of weird, because, like, you never want to sprint, like, all the way upstairs. And then, um, oh, this little sitting area there. Um, never saw that. But yeah, you never, like, want to sprint upstairs like this and do a jump, because a lot of times it likes cutting your jump off. If you try and jump the same time, you kind of, like, go up a stair. So you always just kind of, like, want to get to the top. And then do your jump. And even then, sometimes, it's, like, a little bit tricky. Piano, let's play some Forgot About Dry. Cool. Alright. But yeah, just nice basic. Go go to the top stair and stair jumps. Then you can like do your sprint jump. If you try and sprint all the way up and then jump, usually it just leads to pain. As I've learned. Over doing like all these like platformy condos as we jump over quarters. Although this one's very easy, like we've already beat it. That's it. Hey, very good, very evil. So you made it to the end. Good job. This is the end of the map. There's nothing left by the way. See you later. They're just super easy. If you want to just do a very quick platforming thing, this one isn't bad, it's like 200 kilobytes. Basically just a, a very quick and easy, just jump around sort of thing. That's that. Give you the thumbs up, and now let's see if there is any game worlds going, like ball race or anything. Oh fuck it, I'll do it. I'll actually race with people, I never race with people. Cool. Are they... Alright, they're trying to like do like little skips here. Maybe I can learn something off them. That's also a really cool wall. The globe. I kind of like that. Yeah, hopefully everyone watching is having a lovely day. Uh, mine's not too bad. I, uh... Oh, my health's kind of getting in check right now, which is nice. My blood pressure's way down. My weight's down. I don't know why I did that. I'm able to start like taking my walks and like they're not as bad anymore. Like, my day's, like, actually been pretty okay. And, like, my week actually has been pretty okay. I've just been gradually getting better and healthier. Um, and then I've been making a lot of progress on my uh, my tower resort. Which, if you don't know what that is, uh, I've been building up one of the resort uh, condos as, like, a stream community. Maybe minor nods to, like, YouTube sort of, like, appreciation thing. I've been working on it for, like, over a week. Not a week. Over, like, a month and a half, rather. And it's finally almost done. Every suite's basically filled up in it. The game world hub is completely packed full. Um, the main the main area is almost done. I still gotta like kind of work on the outside. But so far, I think it has like fifteen or sixteen hundred custom item. Well, not workshop, but just sixteen hundred items in it or so. Mostly canvas. I'm trying to keep it like nice and optimized. I like it's looking really good. I can't wait to show a video of it and like stream it and upload it to the workshop so other people can play on it. I think it'll be a fun little hangout resort, even if you're not into the um the the stream appreciation aspect of it and like the references in it. I think I've designed it pretty well to be like a nice little hangout spot. So maybe I'll host it on occasion. I don't know. I am sucking at this right now. Holy crap. But it's, like, been the biggest undertaking I've ever done in Tower, and it's cost me, um, close to 2 million units so far to finish up. 
And I probably need to maybe spend, I would say, like another two or three hundred thousand, I think, before the end. I, I've talked about it before, though. Like, the only, um, really hard thing about it has been trying to keep it optimized. Like, no matter what, like, when you do, like, a, a thing of this scale, like, you're never going to keep it perfectly optimized for everyone playing. It's just, it's, like, an impossibility. But, like, I, I've got it to the point, like, where it's still, like, saying around 60 FPS in my system. It might drop down to, like, 58, 59. Maybe 55 in a bad, era, like, area. It uses up, I want to say, it's, like, 7 gigs of RAM when you first load it in. But, like, as all the things load in, it drops down to, like, 2. So, like, it's not the, it's not the worst defender I've ever seen in Tower. But, like, I, I can't really build it out extensively. Or as extensively as I wanted. Because I want to, like, make sure it's, like, actually playable. It's, like, not a slideshow for people. Well, it's been tricky. But it's just about done. Which is nice. Alright. It's so different doing Ball Race and, like, not doing it in single player. It's kind of relaxing, actually. Well, it's nice getting some units back, too. I've been so short on them. Alright. Mine. Come on, bananas. Alright. So I think after this ball race, I mean, we're not going to be anywhere near, like, the 20-minute mark or anything in this video. Um, after this ball race, so we'll probably head in the plaza and just, just kind of do little filler things like I usually do. Trivia, typing derby, stuff like that. We'll see. Nice, 2200, I'll take that. Thank you. That's like two canvases. Sweet. Oh yeah, we'll see. Is there anything else going on with me? I've been playing through a lot of video games. I played through uh, two games like in the last week, kind of long ones too. I played through that new uh, Sherlock Holmes game, The Awakened, which was like a Lovecraftian Sherlock Holmes experience. It was okay. It was just kind of like one of those games though that really fell apart towards the end, like where it kicked off. Like the first half was really good, but like when it really explored the Lovecraft stuff, it kind of lost me because I kind of feel like Sherlock Holmes really thrives trying to like do like more realistic situations. But it was okay. Basic little narrative adventure mystery game. Um, and then I played through Brock the Investigator. Which, if you are into, like, mysteries and you, like, point and click and beat em ups it is such a... It's a gem. It's a, it's a newer indie title where you play, like, this, uh, this alligator named Brock. And he is a private eye slash handyman. And there's this big mystery going on with, like, murder and, like, espionage and... Um, the world being, like, awful, like, you know, as things typically are. And he also has to, like, try and be a dad. But the way the game plays is just super compelling because you are in a point, uh, part point and click sort of deal. Um, but not only are you part point and click, there's also combat. So the click of a button, or press of a button, uh, you go into, like, this, like, 2D fighting mode. Almost like Streets of Rage or Final Fight, things like that, and just go into beat em up mode. And it is such an interesting hybrid. And the game's long, too, right? There's, like, um, 11 endings. There's, like, over 200 branching paths. If you ever played, like, you know, something like Detroit Become Human and you beat the game and you saw, like, all the branching paths at the end, Brock has that, except, like, there's hundreds, it feels like. Maybe not hundreds, but, like, it feels at least, like, 150. And the game itself is also quite long. My, uh, my first playthrough was uh, 13 hours, but that was like for the bad ending, and then when I got the good ending, it was like 15 hours 40. And I want to say I put like 17 or 18 hours in it to kind of go back and like get a few of the different endings. And I only got like half the collectibles, like it is a big game with a lot of just branching stories and it's cool. Like your choices actually do matter in the game, like quite a bit. Excellent game. 
And then I've uh, been sent, or I'm going to be sent the new Amnesia game, and like that new like Outlast multiplayer game, the Outlast Trials, very soon. So I'm looking forward to playing those two very soon. I have a bunch of retro stuff I want to play very soon as well. I'm playing all those games on itch. And, um, I mean, if you're kind of new to the YouTube channel or you just watch the Tower Unite stuff here, I do upload every single day and I cover a lot of, um, horror games I find on itch. Sometimes they're good. Other times they're just, like, awful memes. But, like, I played one yesterday called Endless Blue on the channel and, oh my god, it was so good. Just a little prototype. It was, like, ten minutes long. Wasn't much in it. But it was so good. I don't know. I've just been really enjoying doing, like, the horror game videos and stuff. It's been fun. Alright. How many points do these people have actually? 4 mil? 650? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not uh I'm still not up to the max rank in Balrus. Ooh, Palator guides here, nice. They have 12 mil, holy shit. Give me my hot dogs. Okay, anything other, like any other crazy things happening with me? Mm, not really. I always say I live like a nice, like boring, one day in life. And I stand by that. And I'm content with that. Crap. Woo. There we go. Almost didn't make that. Yeah, my day every day has just been kind of like finishing up stream. I'll waken up, take a shower, end up on stream super late. Uh, then I, I stream. For like six hours, seven hours, five and a half if I'm super, super late. Woo. Damn. And then I go for my morning walk, have a quick, uh, quick little meal. Lately it's been tuna fish or peanut butter sandwiches. Ooh. Damn. And then I record and work on my resort. Like that's my that's my daily. Maybe watch some wrestling, maybe catch a few movies. What have I watched recently? I watched uh what's the name? What was the name? Reinhardt with like like that new Nicolas Cage movie that was uh it was a Nicolas Cage movie alright. Um Crap, I, I watched the first episode of that new Netflix show called like Red Rose, which was weird. I rewatched re -watched Ghostbusters recently. I'm trying to think like the other stuff I've watched, because I've watched so much more than that. But my brain struggles to like remember, <laughs> to be honest. I watched Ouija. Like the the ghost movie that apparently was awful and I kinda like really liked it a lot. I don't know. way behind on books. I started reading like this, I think I talked about it like a month and a half ago, two months ago, I started reading this book called The Sacrifice Box. It's been on hold, I haven't had time. But I want to get back into that. I miss doing my reads. Alright. Shall we do a quick typing derby, maybe some trivia? That's really all I do, man. I've been adoring, like, this halal place by me. I keep ordering, like, this, like, chicken on the bed of rice, like, with a side of salad. Like, basically like a gyro. But built up in plate form. So good, like, with the white sauce and everything. Oh, my God. I've been, uh, giving them my money quite a bit. And they also do, like, sweet corn nuggets, which are, like, mac and cheese bites, but with sweet corn. It has been delightful. That's been, like, my diet. Peanut butter tuna chicken in this halal place. Doing the job, though. I'm down, like, five pounds. What?
I disagree with all those misses. Well, not a few of them I get, I get but like a lot of those do not feel right. Like I think I even just verbally exclaimed what, because <laughs> I know I typed the right thing in. Ugh, typing derby sometimes drives me up a wall. Let's do it again. One more go. I just, I just swear, like sometimes they skip like uh, keystrokes and stuff, and you just end up like typing like eighty wrong keys in a row, and like you really didn't. <laughs> so like it's, it's weird. Typing Derby's always been, like, a, a thing with me. But it works, it works, though. Still, it didn't register one of my space bars. That was weird, man. <laughs> I don't get it. A few, a few of those misses were legit, but I'm doing a third one. But I got stuck because I, I kept trying to type, and it re I realized like it didn't register my space press. It's like what the hell, man? What a hecky. And I cannot be the only one that has this problem. Sometimes I can't be. I can type quite efficiently, yo. Let's get quiet again awkwardly and do this. No. No. Leave. I'll do it again. Do it again. But I'm not taking this. Last go. Win or lose, last go. And I'm gonna go play some trivia, I think. Why not? Whew. Okay, get, get loosey-goosey. Get ready. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm ready. Again. Yeah, it's not right. I swear. I swear it's not me. <laughs> I swear it's not me. It's literally not registering my space bar sometimes. It's two times now? Where I just could not type? I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm gone. Away from typing derby before I get salty. I'm gone. I messed up a few of those. Like, Luminous? Like, I, I don't know how to type that, like, off the top of my head. I had to focus. But I swear it's dropping inputs, man. <laughs> I swear by it. Oh, well. Let's see how smart I is. I'm gonna probably get, like, two right and eight wrong, and it's fine. Uh, what's the scientific name for modern-day humans? Homo sapiens, yeah. What was the pen name of novelist Mary Ann Evans? Cordelia? Yeah. Okay. 
Which music artist does not feature as a playable avatar in the game DJ Hero? Was it Dr. I, th I figured, like, I would do Daft Punk because, like, I don't remember Daft Punk in the game, but I barely ever played DJ Hero. Which song was the call sign for Steven Verdman's uh, KWFM radio station in Urasawa Naoki's Monster? Uh... The Rainbow? Okay. But yeah, DJ Hero, that game was great. What is Brian May's guitar called? Don't know. Would not know. But I just barely ever played it. Was the name of the alien species introduced in uh, Shadow the Hedgehog? Was it just the swarm? Black arms? Okay. I can't remember. I think I got this question recently too and I forgot. Even though I've played through that in the last two years. Decapods are an order of ten footed crustaceans, which these are not decapods. How many bits make up the significant portion of single profi- Wait, how many bits make up the significant portion of a single precision floating point number? Eight? Twenty-three? I don't know. I don't know what any of that means. No, it's a tetrimo. Tetrimo? Tetrino? That's what the piece in Tetris is called. In the board game size of Catan, a die roll of what number causes the robber to attack? Lucky number seven? Hell yeah. Nice, right, so we want five five. Let's do another trivia. Let's do it. Let's see if I can redeem this. Maybe. Now we wait in anticipation. Here we go. I'm ready, I'm ready. The human right lung has how many lobes? Four? Three? Yeah, no idea. The Pokemon Arbok evolves into Viper. No. That's from Gen 1, I know that. When was Hubba Bubba first introduced? Hubba Bubba Bubblegum? Hubba Bubba Bubblegum sounds like a 79 thing. Hail to his name of the monitor. Name of the monitor of Insulation 5? Oh, yeah, 343 Guilty Spark is completely different, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna remember that. Norway has larger land area than Sweden? Was that false? Is it really? Okay. Which lyric is about Red Hot Chili Peppers frontman Anthony Kytus? Or Kytus? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just picked randomly because I know nothing about this man. Return to Cast Wolfenstein was the only game of the Wolfenstein series where you don't play as William B.J. Blaskowitz. Um... No, you don't play as them in True Blood, or the new one. Is it called True Blood? I forget. Which character does the player play as in the video game Bastion? You're the kid. Narrator and the kid. Bastion's really cool. What is the only Generation 3 Pokemon, fuck, whose name begins with the letter I? If her name's Gen 4, right? I don't know what that fourth one is. I did play Diamond. I had an Inferno name, but that was Gen 4, I think. Which Louis was known as the Sun King of France? I'm gonna randomly guess. Damn. Even worse the second time. Should I go for the triple whammy of trivia? The, tri the trivia triple whammy? Why not? 
Let's do it. Here we go. I'm ready, I'm ready. Pokemon Go is a location-based augmented reality company developed and published by which company? That's Niantic. Okay. I only know that because everyone bitches about Niantic. Which German city is located on the River Izar? What was Rage Against Machines' debut album? Was it just their self-titled? Yeah, it was just their self-titled. Which iconic kind of Disneyland attraction was closed? That's Tower of Terror. That was closed for Guardians of the Galaxy in in, uh, in California. Do not dare touch that in Florida. Uh, the characters of Log Horizon are trapped in what game? It's A is the only one that made sense. What, when was Gang, Gangnam Style uploaded to YouTube? That was popular when I was working in the bowling alley, which would have made that 2012 or 2013. I'm thinking 2013. 2012, shit. It was my first year there. Damn. The LS2 engine is how many cubic inches? inches? LS2? 376? 364. Damn. How is that under easy? Which card is on the cover of the beta rulebook of Magic the Gathering? Rock Hydra? Okay, never mind. Rabbits can see what's behind themselves without turning their heads. That sounds... That's true. Oh. Okay. The wrestling YYZ derives its name from the IITA airport identification code for which city? Really? Yeah, no idea. Okay. I would say I had no idea because I got it wrong. Alright. Before we wrap up the deal, let's just do a quick super hooper. Because we're right here and I, I kind of am into my super hoopers. I got a lot of my double hits there, dude. I don't know how I am, but I, I was getting my doubles. I got a lot of doubles, oh my god. Take 120. Not bad. I missed a lot. That could have been like a 150, I feel like, if I just kind of kept it up. I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to replicate it, but we're gonna do it again anyways. So I'll do one ring toss. I choking now that was such a strong start and now I'm just choking I'm so mad at myself come on man one thirty five is a new best Man, but just to think, if I kept up that pace, I would have been like 170, 180, I think. Oh my god. Now I need to do a third one.
Stop moving. How dare you? Just give it to me for free, because I'm recording a video. That means I deserve free. I'm like averaging like 120 now, dude. One more? I'm on a roll, man. Erratic movement. Get in there. 120. Why am I like such a steady 120? How am I like just so talented at just 120? the fact that I, like, when I start missing, I miss, like, 12 in a row. Although I'm getting very annoyed at my, my 120-ing. One thirty. One more? I'm kind of addicted. Already in bonus. Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. That was bad. Recovering. One fifty. Oh my god. All right, that's a new mile. I'll take eleven hundred. One fifty. I'm cutting it there. That is unbelievably good for me. And I'll take the jackpot. Thank you. And while we're at it, let's do a quick ring toss. Terrible. We passed four thousand, maybe. No, nope, almost four thousand. Okay, I guess we're gonna call the video there, though. It's been like what thirty-five minutes of towering. Got some stuff back, but I do gotta uh, do my quick workout, and then I want to go work on uh, my resort some more. Which again, I can't wait to like really show that. Um, oh, the anniversary stuff's actually gone. I just noticed. Um, can't wait to show that on video and on stream and stuff. It is so far along now. I still got a little ways to go, but a couple more days it should be done, I think. So, uh, let me go work on that in a minute. So, I want to just thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys again in the next video. It was fun. 
Y'all take care, and as always, toodles, y'all.